Hey everyone, I've been getting a few requests to do a Veggie Tales collection video, so that's what this video is going to be, and I'm just going to kind of call it a big idea video, I guess, because I'm going to also show my 321 Penguins uh, DVD here. So I'm going to start with the Blu-rays that I have, um, then move on to the main DVD sets that I have, then finish off with the Christmas movies. So let's get into it. Alright, so first we'll start off with the Blu-rays, and I don't have too many Blu-rays, and that's just because there weren't very many Blu-rays released of VeggieTales. Um, I think I have all of the Blu-rays of VeggieTales that were ever released, and that's seven of them. They just, you know, Blu-ray just really hasn't been a very common thing for uh, these VeggieTales re releases. They mostly just release them on DVD, and I guess that's good enough, but, um, you know... My opinion is that, especially for the newer episodes, I think they should be on Blu-ray as a default, but um, they mainly just do DVDs for whatever reason. So, But anyway, they did release six random titles, you know, many years ago, and I picked these up, and um, they're just, they're kind of random. They're not any of the earlier episodes or anything. They're, um, you know, they're not the newer episodes at this point now, but they were when they were released. So these would be, let's see... Just this one here has a copyright of 2012, so, um, you know, roughly 10 years ago or so is when these titles uh, were kind of the newer titles, and that's when they got these uh, Blu-ray releases. So the first one I have here is Pistachio, The Little Boy That Wouldn't, and I do really like the, uh, um, just the entire packaging that they did for these. I just think the artwork looks very nice and everything, so I really do wish they would have released more of these. Um, particularly the older episodes, but uh, we just got six of them, and these are Blu-ray and DVD combos. Um, so you got the one DVD, and then you got the one Blu-ray disc, and they do have nice full-color artwork. Next up is Minnesota Kook, or Kuke, I don't know how you pronounce it, and the Search for Noah's Umbrella. And then inside is... Uh, Basically, two discs. We got the DVD on the left, Blu ray on the right. And next, we've got Tomato Sawyer and Huckleberry Larry's Big River Rescue. And then inside, two discs. And I do really like the um, full color artwork they did on these, it's very nice. Um, next is The Wonderful Wizard of Haas. And then inside the two discs again. Very nice. Uh, next is Mo and the Big Exit. And then inside we have the two discs again. And then finally we've got Larry Boy and the Bad Apple. And here is the discs inside here. I like the Blu-ray artwork on this one quite a bit. So that takes care of the uh, six random episodes on Blu-ray that they released. And if you look at these, uh, just their spines, I really like how they just look on the shelf and everything. Um, just nice and colorful and, um, you know, I think these were cool releases and I wish they would have uh, released some more in that Blu-ray format. But um, the last Blu-ray that I have is Jonah, a VeggieTales movie. This is, uh, yeah, this has been out for a long time and I don't know how easy it is to find uh, this Blu-ray copy anymore. It might be pretty easy, it might not be, but I think the DVD is much more easy to find um, just because DVD is kind of the format that they prefer to release VeggieTales on apparently, but um, I thought this was a really cool release, this Blu-ray, and um, I've always really liked this movie. I remember when it first came out, I think I got it on VHS, and I, I, I might have even seen this in the theaters, and and this, and this was really when VeggieTales was super popular, I think, too. So, um, you know, this was a really good movie, I thought. I really enjoyed it. 
Uh, came out when I was a kid, so that's another reason why I enjoyed it probably too, especially more so. Um, because if, you know, kids' movies that come out these days, I just don't really have as much interest in. But the timing was everything with that. So here's a look at the actual Blu-ray case. And again, um, I really do like how they did the artwork on this. It's it's just nice and colorful. And this has a ton of bonus features too, which is really neat. Um, so there's that. And then uh, inside, this is what we get. And um, let's see, who was this released by? Lionsgate. I don't know. It's got a lot of advertisements. You know, this was kind of like a bigger company release uh, than some of these other ones, I think. Um, so you got this uh, advertisement for some random movies. Yeah, this was a Lionsgate release, I guess. So, but anyways, um, go inside here. And uh, we've got the DVD on the left, and then the Blu-ray on the right, and nice full-color artwork on all of these. And I'm, I'm trying to think now, I can't remember, because I, I used to own this on VHS way back in the day. Then I owned it on DVD, I think, and I, I'm trying to remember if the DVD release by itself was like a two-disc thing with a second disc for bonus features. I, I just can't remember, but... Um, in any case, I think that this Blu-ray release has all of the, uh, you know, all the bonus features that are out there, as far as I'm aware. I'm not 100%, but that should be the case. Um, but anyway, this is, um, yeah, this is a nice release, and I'm glad to have this. So that takes care of my Blu-rays, so now we'll move on to the DVDs. All right, so starting with the DVDs, the first one I'll show you is my 321 Penguins, uh, the complete TV series. DVD set. This was a cool release. This came out, um, well, this has been out for a few years now, but I, I remember, I think they released maybe like a volume one or something of uh, the TV series, and, and then eventually the the complete series. I, I, I'm trying to remember if that's exactly how it was. I don't remember for sure, but in any case, we've got the complete TV series, and I think this is a really cool release because you just got so much content in in this one package here. The only thing is, um, the the TV series I think are the episodes are kind of shortened to like the twenty two minute length that you would expect for a, you know, obviously a, a TV episode essentially. Um, but a lot of these were the thirty minute specials, so they kind of got trimmed down. So you know that's you know, I, and I'm not really a diehard three two ones penguin. 321 Penguins fan. I, this was this was a show that I didn't really grow up watching too much. I, you know, maybe rented a video or two of it uh, from my church or something back when I was a kid. So, you know, I don't really have any reason to collect any of the individual DVD releases of this that have the kind of more extended and full versions. Um, just wanted this sampling, I guess you could say, but this is the complete TV series and... Um, Overall, I think it's a really nice release just because of, if nothing else, the amount of content you get in it uh, for the size of the package. It's 508 minutes running time. And then you go inside here, you've got full artwork, uh, disc one, disc two, and disc three. So a nice full three disc set. So I think that's pretty cool. So that takes care of my 321 Penguins set. And now we'll go into um, the, I guess, meat and potatoes, if you will. Now we'll go into the full VeggieTales DVD collection that I have. And, um, you know, there's been so many different releases of VeggieTales, um, over the years. So many different variations and different versions of DVDs and VHS releases that you can get. Um, I am, I, I like to always have kind of the, the most condensed, um, packaging generally but I also for the veggie tales for some reason I do like to have all the bonus features um, fortunately they did release these um, all the shows uh, collections that include um, you know obviously slimmer packaging but also all of the bonus features that are contained on the individual DVD releases are all here in these all the shows releases so that's why I went for these versions, and I, I like them quite a bit for the most part. Um, so yeah, I'll show you these. Um, and, and there's a few things I don't like, and I'll show you what those are. But here's the front artwork anyway. This is the first one. There's been a couple different releases of the all the shows releases too. 
and this is the slimmest packaging version that you can get. But all the shows, Volume 1 is 1993 through 1999, and this is my favorite release just because these are the ones, these are the episodes that I grew up watching. So if, if I had to pick only one collection, you know, if I had to pick only one of these DVDs of VeggieTales that I could keep and had to get rid of all the rest, this would be the one that I would keep for sure. So, um, yeah, so here's a look at the back. Uh, we've got Where's God When I'm... S scared, S scared, where's God when I'm scared? Um, God wants me to forgive them, are you my neighbor? Rack Shack and Benny, Dave and the Giant Pickle, The Toy That Saved Christmas, Larry Boy and the Fib from Outer Space, Josh and the Big Wall, Madam Blueberry, and Larry Boy and the Rumor Weed. All classic episodes from the 90s that I grew up watching. And uh, yeah, by far this is my favorite collection. And this one is my second favorite. I'll show you that in a second. Um, Inside the slip box, we've got the two standard DVD sets. Let's see. So this one is the first one. And um, overall, I like that they kind of kept this nice and slim. But here's the part that I don't like about these releases. Double-sided discs. That's right. This is uh, definitely not ideal. But, you know, and there, and there was, like I said, there was another release of this. And I used to own it that had, um, instead of having um, double-sided discs, it had single-sided discs with nice artwork, and um, you had 10 discs. Well, this set uh, trims it down to five discs, um, and they're double-sided. So, you know, I, I like it because it's slimmer packaging. It, it kind of contains them more into regular-sized DVD cases, but this is definitely a drawback. Um, so generally, you've got two episodes per disc, and there's disc two, and then there's disc three. So you, you're missing the artwork. Um, the discs are double-sided. You know, it's a little easier to get them scratched and everything. And I, I can take care of them so that they don't, and they're still in good condition. But, you know, it is unfortunate that that's how they uh, did it for this, because they definitely could have, um, you know, in a standard DVD case like this, you could fit five discs. It It's, it's thicker, it's a little bit... Um, you know, you have to have two flippers and, and, and so forth, but you could do it. So I wish they would have just done it that way instead of doing the double-sided discs, but that is what it is. Um, so there it is. And then next up is my second favorite set, I guess you could say, because this also has uh, some more episodes that I watched when I was little. Um, getting towards the end of this volume are ones that I, you know, Kind of, sort of started to lose a little bit of interest in Veggie Tales as I was growing up, but um, in any case, here is what we have. This is the 2000 to 2005 set. We've got King George and the Ducky, uh, Esther, the girl who became queen, Lyle, the kindly Viking, the Star of Christmas, and right around this time is when I kind of started to lose my interest in Veggie Tales a little bit. You know, um, I was growing up, kind of just, you know, they kept they kept on coming out with new episodes, and I just kind of stopped keeping up. Um, a little bit. So it was kind of after Lyle the Kindly Viking and into the Star of Christmas. Right after that, I was kind of like, all right, well, you know, these can just keep coming out, but I'm not, you know, I really wasn't paying quite as much attention to them after this. So, but we have uh, The Ballad of Little Joe and Easter Carol, A Snoodle's Tale, Sumo of the Opera, Duke and the Great Pie War, Minnesota Kook, and The Search for Samson, Samson's Hairbrush. And, and some of these, of course, are the ones that I have on Blu-ray, too. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at this. And this is, uh, so this one has got six on this one and four on this one. Another interesting way that they did this. So these are all double-sided. Um, this one here, double-sided. But then you get these two here, which appear to be double-sided. But they're actually just single discs, which is interesting. So this one is Lyle the Kindly Viking on the left, and uh, the Star of Christmas on the right. These There's nothing on these top portions of these discs. So I don't know why they, you know, <laughs> I don't know why they didn't just put artwork on these ones. It's kind of weird to me, but I don't know. That's weird. Uh, apparently they couldn't fit those two on onto one disc or something. I'm actually really not sure, you know... Is these are both single-sided discs. I'm not sure why they're not both in one double-sided disc. I don't know. I think there's a reason for it. Maybe they're both dual-layer or something. I, I don't know. I 
I'm just kind of speculating. It, it's really weird. But, and here's his, here is the second set. And uh, these ones are both double-sided. And, or these, all three of these are double-sided. So, um, there's a look at those discs there. So, next we get to the... Uh, final um, all the shows collection that I have and this one is you know at least for me episodes that I definitely didn't really watch growing up these are the newer ones um, you know newer in quotes obviously because this is 2005 to 2010 so these really aren't new at this point but they're newer at least to me when I was uh, growing up um, and when these were coming out, because let's see, 2005 to 2010, I would have been uh, 15 years old going to 20 years old. So, you know, I was, tr I was becoming an adult. So, um, anyways, here is a look at what's included here. Um, we've got Sherlock Holmes and the Golden Ruler, Larry Boy and the Bad Apple, Gideon Tuba Warrior, Mo in the Big Exit, and a lot of these on Blu-ray, of course. Tomato Sawyer and Huckleberry, Larry's Big River Rescue. Abe and the Amazing Promise. Minnesota Kook and the Search for Noah's Umbrella. St. Nicholas, Pistachio, and Sweet Pea Beauty. And there are more. There are many more episodes um, that were released after this, of course, you know, after 2010. Um, but this is the last, all the shows that has been released, um, at least I'm not aware of a fourth one that has come out. So this is the complete collection of the, all the shows sets, and it, it really is a good, um, mostly comprehensive collection of VeggieTales, although there's some oddities, and I'll, I'll explain that in a second, but, um, but this most, you know, these, all the shows mostly are, um, they're a really good way to get all the shows in, you know, just one package. And so I really like that about them. And, um, you know, they're about 40 to 50 bucks. And so that brings it to about $5 per episode, which really isn't too bad. Um, if you're someone like me who wants the slimmest packaging, these are the way to go. But if you really don't like that double-sided disc, and I really don't like it either. But if you if it's, if it's really something you really, really absolutely hate, you can get, try and find the previous versions of these, which are a little bit thicker packaging, but all the discs are, um, you know, it's one episode per disc and they have full artwork, so, um, anyways, I'll show you the discs inside here real quick, there's the, uh, artwork, all double-sided, so there's the first set, and then the second set should just have two discs in here, so disc one and then disc two, and again, both double-sided, so. All right, so next up we go into some of these silly song collections that I have. And um, this one just got kind of a reissue, so I'm still kind of holding on to this just because I really like it, but I may end up getting rid of it soon-ish. I'm not sure, but I, I've always really, really liked this release, so it's really hard for me to uh, want to give this up. But this is the complete silly song collection, at least as of the time it was released. This is a fairly old release now, but... It includes uh, four discs and um, just really, really nice artwork on this. Um, really have always been a big fan of this. And um, got these little thumbnails of the uh, individual releases, which is cool. And I'll show you what we've got inside here. And uh, just really nice full artwork. And I really am not a big fan of, I guess, uh, this style of... Um, Packaging. I really like standard DVD cases, but but this one works. Uh, it does its job. And um, so here we've got a uh, chapter list for each of the discs right here. It, just really good detail all over the place. First disc is the Vegorama Jukebox, and you've got a list of all the songs right here. That looks good, and then we've got the artwork here on the disc. I'm going to try and pull this out because it does have... A little bit of back artwork here, nothing too fancy, but um, it's got this nice artwork on the disc that uh, looks like an old record, so that is pretty cool. Um, let's see if I can get that back in. And then the other releases are um, individual DVD releases. You could buy these um, by themselves, but this uh, I like these because they're the original um, artwork that you would get if you bought these on their own. VeggieTales' very first sing-along video, very silly songs. Um, 
yeah, I like the artwork on these quite a bit. It's very nostalgic for me. So there's that one, and then we get the uh, the end of silliness, which is kind of like the sequel to this one here. Um, and this is cool. I really like this release um, because it kind of actually has a little bit of a story to it. Um, it's not just a compilation of silly songs. It actually does have um, a little bit of a story to it, which is kind of fun. And um, yeah, so I've always liked this one. This I, I thought this was uh, uh, one of the better sing-along videos just because it kind of had that uh, story to go along with it. So I think that's pretty cool. And then this one is a good one too, the Ultimate Silly Song Countdown. Um, and this one has, uh, you know, this one has all of the old Silly Songs with Larry, essentially. And um, so for that reason, I really like this. The Silly Songs with Larry has always been, uh, you know, one of my favorite uh, um, parts of Veggie Tales, I guess you could say. So um, just overall, I really like this release and I'm having a hard time... Um, wanting uh, to get rid of it even though I'm gonna show you the next release here um, this is kind this just came out not too long ago um, and this contains most of the discs in here and it's in slimmer packaging and it's uh it's got good looking artwork I like this old school more so artwork a little bit better but this is this is pretty nice and this is all the silly songs 60 favorites includes 20 sing-alongs and this has some nice full color artwork, but it is the more modern, you know, it's got the more modern logo and everything. And, um, you know, it's a very recent release. This is, um, I think this actually came out in 2020. I can't remember exactly when this came out, but I know it's, it hasn't been out, it hasn't been out very long. Um, so here's what we've got inside of that. It's, uh, it's got a lot of discs inside. And um, what it does include is Very Silly Songs, which is in here. The End of Silliness, also in here. The Vegorama Jukebox, which is in here. And then this is where the difference is. Uh, the Vegorama Jukebox 2, which is not in here, um, but the Ultimate Silly Song Countdown is not included in this one. So it's like, okay, well, which one do I want to keep? And I don't know. Because my other option, I guess, if I wanted to really be complete but also have the slim packaging would be to just uh, keep this release but then maybe pick up the individual copy of the Ultimate Silly Song Countdown. But I don't know. I really like this release and you can tell that the artwork on these are not the uh, old school original artwork that you get on these ones. So it's another reason why I kind of want to keep this set. So um, anyways, for now I have both of these. They're both in my collection and... Um, that's just how it is for the moment. So next is the uh, Larry Boy Ultimate Superhero Collection. Eight incredible stories. This is kind of a nice release. Um, just because it has all of the Larry Boy stuff in one. And that's kind of cool. Uh, the only thing I don't really like about it is that... Um, you know, it's got a few bonus features. But I think if you were to buy each of these individual... Um, uh, you know, all of these DVDs individually, you'd get more bonus features. And I think that's especially true for the, uh, the Larry Boy animated series, um, episodes in here. Because I don't think that collection includes any bonus features, but the individual, uh, DVD releases definitely do. But, here's what we get inside. We've got the, uh, three-pack of the first three Larry Boys. And I don't think there's any special features on here. I think it's just the three episodes. Um, but I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's true. Um, and then this second disc has the all, all four of the uh, Larry Boy animated series. Um, let's see. I think there's... Let's see. What actually do you call that? Or the, the Cartoon Adventures is what they called it. Um, so this has all four of those. And again, episodes only, no bonus features as far as I'm aware. Um, this one is cool. This is the League of Incredible Vegetables, and as you can tell by the full color artwork on this one, I believe this is the, uh, you know, this is the original DVD release essentially. So this should have all the bonus features that you would get on um, if you were to buy this on its own. So, so that's that, and and so it says bonus features here and stuff. 
I think that's on, that only applies to this disc. Um, I could be mistaken, but I, I think that that's true. So, you know, I do like this because it just has all these in one. I don't have all of the individual releases of these Larry Boy cartoon adventures, and I guess I don't really need the special features for those or anything, so this is okay. Um, and anyway, there is that. And I guess I kind of had my DVDs a little out of order because I do still have some more silly song collections, apparently. So this one was out of place a little bit, but um, next we've got the, and now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry, the complete collection. Another really cool release, 25th, uh, 20th anniversary edition, um, and it includes 35 music videos, um, and it also comes with a nice slipcover. So there is that, and I actually think, um, I think I picked this release up at like a rummage sale or, or something, I think, um, which is kind of weird, but... That's where I think I got this, actually. Um, anyways, here is a look at the artwork on this one. Single disc release, I think. And, um, oh, no, it's a two disc release. Um, so here's the two discs. And this has these both have really nice artwork on them. I don't remember if I've watched, um, watched these in any... Uh, um, I don't think I've watched these in much detail. I might have just put the disc in just to see what was on it, but I don't think I've watched the entire things. But it looks like disc one is uh, just the silly songs themselves. Um, and then maybe this one over here is the same thing, but sing-along version. So um, it looks like that's what the, the case is. So, but any, anyways, a really cool collection. Um, I don't think this, um, you know, it says it is the complete collection, but that's as of the time this was released. I think there have been more, you know, a couple more uh, VeggieTales specials that would have included a silly song with Larry that maybe isn't on this collection, but it's complete as of the time it was released in any case. And yet one more um, silly song video, and I'm not sure if this one is redundant at this point since I have this, because I think a lot of this, you know, there's a lot of repeat silly songs, obviously, but... Um, 20 fan picked favorites, um, and it does feature one brand new silly song. So I think that's what made me pick this one up. And, um, yeah, so that it was having a new silly song, but that might be on this one. I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, let's see. So here is everything on the back. It's got nice artwork on the back too. Um, what is the new silly song? Uh, it doesn't say what it is. So I don't remember what the title is. That thumbnail should be a hint, but I don't remember. So anyway, there's that. So that should take care of my uh, Silly Song collection videos. So next up, this is one standalone episode. And you could kind of think of this as a special, I guess. I like to think of this as an episode. But it's interesting because, you know, I said earlier that these are kind of like the best way to get kind of like the complete collections of VeggieTales and they're kind of in chronological order and everything. But for some reason they didn't include The Wonderful World of Autotainment. And uh, I think this is out of print now for some reason. Um, but yeah, The Wonderful World of Autotainment and I really actually really like this release. I thought it was just kind of out there and kind of off the wall. And I think there was there's some sort of uh, clip of this um, episode on that somebody posted on YouTube and it became incredibly viral for some reason and it's just like a clip from this episode I don't know what it is I don't remember but it's got just a ridiculous amount of views I think so but anyway this is this is one of my favorites actually and it's for some reason just a highly overlooked episode so I don't know why that is but I, I sure enjoy this uh, special and it's just a regular half hour special so I don't know why, um, you know, I guess it doesn't really follow the traditional kind of Bible story format. It's kind of just out there and doing its own thing. But I, I don't know, I really like it. And so I, I think they should have included it in, in these All the Shows collections, but they did not. Maybe there's some other, maybe there's some legal reasons for it or something. I have no idea. Um, but anyways... You can tell this is an older release because it comes with uh, an insert and everything. It's got full color artwork on the disc and um, it does have a double sided uh, insert here. This is just a chapter listing and bonus features but then it also has on the back um, 
kind of showing off some of the uh, individual DVD releases you could get. Um, you could all, it also had these uh, Heroes of the Bible. I used to have one of these on VHS back in the day, and these were pretty cool kind of compilations, but um, not something that I need now since uh, we've got the, all the shows out, but they were kind of cool releases. Um, so anyway, that's pretty neat. And next, this is kind of a random one I have. Um, really probably redundant because a lot of these shorts are included in the autotainment episode and also silly songs and, and so forth. But I think this is kind of a cool release, so I have this. It's called Lessons from the Sock Drawer. And I think this is another one that I also picked up um, maybe at a rummage sale or something. But um, but yeah, it's it's kind of just a compilation of uh, some of the random shorts from uh, this autotainment um, episode and, and and from other releases as well so let's see yeah it's got some silly songs on it and, and then some of the random stuff too so also has some bonus features so it's got a lot of kind of just fun random stuff um, on this disc here and I also like the uh, the green case this is uh, an older thing that they used to do for VeggieTales releases and they're not really doing it anymore which is too bad because uh, the green case is it's, it's just so fitting for the Veggie Tales and it's it's just fun. Being that I got this at a rummage sale or somewhere, um, there might have been an insert for this. I kind of suspect there was, and I don't have it though. So if there was, I unfortunately am missing it. But maybe there wasn't one. I'm not sure. But anyways, I also really like the artwork on that disc there too. So there's that release. Then the next one I have here is. Uh, the Pirates Who Don't Do Anything, a VeggieTales movie, and this is the just the DVD release in widescreen, and they never released this one on Blu-ray, even though this one came out after the uh, uh, the Jonah VeggieTales movie, but like I said, uh, DVDs are kind of their, um, you know, uh, format of choice for VeggieTales for some reason, so anyways, here's a look at the back, really nice full artwork. And inside, it is just a one-disc release, um, released by Universal. So the artwork is a little bit plain, but we also have some, uh, you know, since this is a Universal release, uh, some advertisements for some other random things. All right, so now we're getting to the final of my collection here for VeggieTales, and th these are the Christmas DVDs that I have. And... Um, I'm missing some of these um, individual DVD releases, obviously, because um, they're contained in the All the Shows collections. Um, but, um, yeah, for some of those that aren't, I do have the uh, individual releases um, and also a compilation pack, which I'll show you at the very bottom. So, first one is St. Nicholas, A Story of Joyful Giving. And these are these really kind of highlight some of the more modern releases that uh, came with fancy slipcovers, but um, still DVD releases. Um, and this, it's fully embossed and everything. It's really high quality and um, just really good full color artwork all around. So, so here is a look at that, um, the entire slipcover there. And then the DVD itself. And then inside, full color artwork on the disc. We've got an insert here, actually a little uh, booklet. Uh, with Christmas gift ideas, and it's just a bunch of different uh, um, Veggie Tales advertisements and things for the most part. CDs, um, books, and um, other decorations and ornaments and things. Um, so there's that. And uh, I guess there's a Veggie Tales Bible too, and that's that actually kind of looks kind of interesting. I like the artwork on that. So that's neat. So the next one that I have is uh, Mary Larry and the True Light of Christmas, and this artwork is really something else. Um, just look at the shininess of it. All embossed, full, you know, just high quality slipcover, and um, you know, it, it's got all these Christmas lights that really light up when you uh, when you kind of go back and forth with the lighting. It's it, this is just a really really nice release overall. So Mary Larry and the True Light of Christmas. And here's the back artwork. 
then the DVD itself, or the DVD case itself, I should say. And then inside we've got the uh, disc here. This has nice artwork on it. And then we do have one little insert here, basically advertisements. Then next up I've got actually a pretty interesting release. This one is the Little Drummer Boy. And uh, I picked up this Target exclusive version that inside comes with a um, classic version of the Little Drummer Boy, which I'll show you inside, which was kind of interesting. Um, and like I said, you can only get it at Target um, with that extra disc inside. Here's the spine and then here's the back. And so here is a look at the DVD uh, packaging. And then inside on the right, we've got the little drummer boy with the full artwork. We've got a booklet on the left, but hiding right behind it is uh, the classic little drummer boy on DVD. So that was kind of an interesting release back in the day and um, still pretty cool to have that. And then it also inside here, holiday gift giving guide. Uh, so all kinds of toys, let's see, skipping pages. So toys and then um, uh, DVD collections here, and um, there's been many different uh, compilation Christmas releases, and I'm gonna get, I'm gonna show you the one that I have now. Um, but yeah, many different versions of those. We've got again more toys and Christmas stuff. Um, so there is that uh, booklet there. And then finally for the individual VeggieTales uh, Christmas titles, I've got The Best Christmas Gift, and uh, this has nice um, slipcover artwork as well, fully embossed, and uh, so that's pretty cool. And I'll show you the actual DVD case, and this one unfortunately kind of comes in a black case. I, I like white at least for the VeggieTales, the green would be really cool, but... I like white, at least. It just seems a little bit more fitting for some reason. But this one is black. Um, anyway, there is the artwork there. And then inside, this is this is a more recent release, and it uh, you know it's more plain. Unfortunately, you just got a standard green color for the artwork, and no insert. But this is released by Universal, and um, but the the slip cover sure is nice. I will say that for sure. Um, so finally, this is the last one that I have in my collection, and like I said, there have been many different uh, Christmas compilation releases. Well, this is the most recent one. comes in slim packaging, and it also is uh, the most comprehensive one. I think it includes the most episodes. Uh, doesn't come with a slipcover, unfortunately, sort of, but it's not a huge deal. Um, comes with seven holiday favorites. There's a spine, and then here's the back. And uh, what's included is It's a Meaningful Life, uh, Christmas sing-along songs, and I don't have that on any other release, so that's just in here. So obviously I have most of these other ones, but, um, but not that one by itself, so that's kind of a reason to, for me to have this, if nothing else. Um, it's got The Little Drummer Boy, which I just showed you, uh, St. Nicholas, A Story of Joyful Giving, uh, the Toy That Saved Christmas, The Star of Christmas, and Mary Larry and the True Light of Christmas. Um, so it definitely doesn't have all of the Christmas episodes. This one isn't on there. But a lot of these other ones that I showed you are. So, But, you know, this is one of those things where it's a compilation set. And therefore, whoops, I'm just about to drop it. Uh, bonus features are at least probably, um, they're omitted, they're not included. Um, you just get the episodes themselves, and that's just because they can try to fit as many episodes as they possibly can onto um, as few discs as possible. And um, so here's what we get. Disc 1 has three episodes, The Toilet Save Christmas, Star of Christmas, and St. Nicholas. I do like that this has some nice full-color artwork. That's pretty good. Um, then Disc 2 has the Christmas sing-along songs, It's a Meaningful Life, and The Little Drummer Boy. So there's that, and then the disc on its own is Mary Larry and the True Light of Christmas. And so for this disc, 
Obviously, this one, you can tell it's just the one disc on its own. This one's probably got the bonus features, but the rest of these probably do not. Um, so that's probably a reason that I could, uh, you know, I've got this collection here. I could just get rid of my release of the Merry Larry and the True Light of Christmas. Why haven't I, though? Just because that slipcover is so nice. So I don't know. I'm just kind of holding on to it for now, and um, I could get rid of it, but the slipcover is just so nice, it's hard to get rid of it. So anyways, this ended up being very long. Um, just did a very in-depth look at these VeggieTales releases for those who were interested in seeing that. That is my entire VeggieTales collection, or my big idea collection, I guess you could call it. Um, although, those are the ones that I've opened. I do actually have one more to show you, um, and that's this one. This is kind of random. It's still factory sealed. It's the Larry Boy and the Cartoon Adventures um, Lego My Ego. Um, so this is just a random one that I have. Like I said, I don't have all of these cartoon adventures on DVD. Um, and this one I haven't even opened, and that's just because I have all four of the episodes on that one um, uh, Larry Boy um, all-in-one set. So I haven't opened this. I picked this up at a Christian bookstore, and it was only like five bucks. So I, you know, I just wanted to get it because it was it's nice packaging, and I thought maybe I'd end up picking up the rest of the cartoon adventure standalone dvd releases i just haven't come across any of the other ones yet uh it says 8.99 there but i think i only paid like five bucks for this um but you know if i happen to come across the rest of these for a reasonable price i might pick them up i do like the artwork on them i think that's pretty nice it's got the green case which is really cool as well so all that said, that is it. That is my entire VeggieTales collection, or my Big Idea collection, if you also include the uh, 321 Penguins that I showed you guys. So, for those who were interested in seeing the VeggieTales collection, there it is. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you in the next video.